Hey there, inventory planners. Coming to you from ZeroCon London 2019. We are almost at the end of the first full day, so passing along a couple of things that we've seen emerge as a trend here at ZeroCon so far. This morning, the Zero team rolled out some product announcements and some feature enhancements that are gonna be coming in the next year, and a couple worth mentioning. One is that they're really focusing on workflow automation, really taking the manual tedious jobs that accountants, bookkeepers, small and medium sized businesses have and trying to take care of that so that one, it doesn't take up your time, two, it's more accurate. So we'll really see that coming to a lot of the workflows within Zero, I think very soon, which is an exciting development. As a reminder, when you add a Zero integration to Inventory Planner, you can save your purchase orders straight to zero from Inventory Planner. So that will both save you time and increase accuracy. It's not gonna be another step to take in your workflow. The second trend that we've seen emerge here on the first day of ZeroCon has to do with cash flow and cash flow forecasting. So we get a lot of questions about this at Inventory Planner since we do forecasting around customer demand and inventory needs. And interestingly, Zero is going to be adding in some very short-term cash flow forecasting. So I think that'll be an exciting development, something that a lot of businesses could really use and make, make use of. There are also a number of apps that are already integrated with Zero that handle cash flow forecasting. I've met several here at the conference today, so I think we'll roll those out in a blog and kind of summarize the advantages of each very soon. In short, a lot of these apps can be helpful if you have a more complex situation, want to explore different scenarios for cash flow forecasting, and really handle some of those advanced planning needs that you might have for your business. To give you more information, and you can make purchasing decisions, including on inventory. So that's a quick wrap up of what's happened so far at ZeroCon London, and we'll bring you more updates soon.